now just shut up. chaps inside this box is is a problem me and it have been falling out again um, long story short there's a desk in there and a couple of amplifiers inside one of the amplifiers is a fan um, oh and happy face you um, don't look too cheerful there love not one bit yeah, anyway, inside here is a fan and um, I'm kind of hoping to get the bastard out and get some oil on it because it doesn't reliably start and I need it to, otherwise it's going to kill my amp. So I need a cheap shitty amp, but it's, well, it's kind of not mine, it's the wife's. But regardless, I need to look after it because um, she'll probably kill me if I don't, you know, living in fear and all that. Let's uh, move along. So here is the shit heap again. As you can see, it's um, it's busy in there. <laughs> Try and look. Try to pop inside its back door. Have a look. Believe it or not, there's about 20 meters of cable stuffed in there. And they slide out easy every time. Here is the uh, primary amp it's good for 100 watts down to about 2 amps or so here's the shitty secondary amp good for 1.6 kilowatts absolute maximum that's right up balls to the wall that's into 4 ohms per channel 8 ohm on the bridge and shoved in up here is the desk. I'll, um, I'll show you another shot of that in a minute. Latch action. Latch action. Latch action. There we go. It is a thing of beauty. Sturdy. It's such a thin shit aluminium box. Look, look at this, look at this. This is my fingernail, right? <laughs> what a load of crap! Here's the main desk. In its usual format. Thanks, honey. If you want to be quiet, because, um, Daddy's doing that video thing. And, um, I don't need you waffling at me. So yeah, here's the main desk. It's not mega fancy, but you know, you got pissed with the cock you got, right? Here again is the monitor amplifier. Like I said, it's only good for 100 watts. Again, pissed with the cock you got. I've modified the hell out of this thing, um, so it might even uh, be cleaner and clearer than in its original configuration. This is a shitty secondary amp. This is the one we got a problem with. So let's get it out of this chassis. Have a look at that fan. Oh, I should note, I hate blue LEDs. I hate them. Nothing says unprofessional shite like blue LEDs. This one here is yellow. That one is red. That one is orange. That one is red. And inside these panels, they're both ultraviolet. The clip LEDs are green, I believe. Again, yep, this one's got a uh, warm white diode stuffed in that power on bit just there. Shiny goodness. These are what I'm after. Here's the guts of the thing. Um, as, uh, as you can see, it's pretty standard. I haven't really modified this one too much other than the LEDs on the front that I already said um, and moving a couple of the wires away from the sort of low signal level out focus you shit 
away from the sort of low signal areas you know on here's the drivers for this which then has further drivers and voltage regulators and all this kind of crap overheat protection two stage i think one of them just turns the fan up with the fan there it is to high speed um to stop it shitting the bed there's two banks of these uh, mosfets i believe and some more here um yeah as uh, as you can see it's got a big ass transformer uh quality crap so you know you're getting a high-end grade of of shite because it's quality crap past six and nine 69 dudes bill and ted's favorite number ha uh, ha ha uh yeah it's um it's ugly it's it's not great it's a bit of a mess inside um i haven't put any of these cable ties or anything in i haven't even bothered i've just left it pretty much alone it's uh let's get this offending shit sack out of here shall we what is that i guess i'm gonna say 80 or 92 mil 12 volt fan possibly possibly a 24 volt but most likely a 12. we'll see i swear to god i'll actually take it out in a minute do not obstruct air vents why why would people need to be told that i am um, i don't understand doesn't have to clean them once in a while either this one gets run for five six hours at a time inside that dusty box so it's going to build up some crap along with the vape juice settling in it making the fan blades gooey so all the shite sticks to it um yeah cross about usual input type shite bridge operation mode speak on two pole the bridge output and uh my dirty little quarter inch stereo jack mod for outputs on stereo jacks it's meant to be a temporary solution so far it's um i haven't actually ordered and built the cables up to use the speak ons like i do in my office here but i'll get around to that eventually i've just seen something bloody awful see this shitty ordinary fan if you wanna google it there you go um but yeah this fan this usual no oh, no just two leads uh, i think what was it 12, 24 oh, 24 volt so yeah when the amplifier starts getting hot it doubles the voltage from 12 to 24 it gets a whole lot louder um yeah these wires where do you think they plug in can you see? Can you tell where they plug in? No, that's because you're wrong. Those wires snake their way down this gap here, under this board, under this board, all the way down to here. Which means if you want to take that incredibly annoying fan out, you either have to cut the wires up there, or take the board out and unplug it here there's a hole routed through the board right there for the wires to come up through watch see that how bloody stupid do you have to be it's a friggin fan just run it over there somewhere to the friggin power supply that's really bloody annoying can you not oh great
Some stupid reason I forgot the oil. Hang on, you know, for the fact that this thing runs, I'm tempted to not oil it at all. Oh, you can't beat your hydro. Heaven Costner, water oil, yeah, yeah. Bottle of um, turbine dish oil, non detergent. And it's pretty, pretty thin. Oh, so 22. I think that A owns airline oil. Um, I think I'm going to get a little bit more. I have absolutely no clue. I can't have it. It's thin. It's running. And it's not the table. This is probably the most important thing. I think I'm going to do this already. Too much because um, it, it 
Loki's live right behind here because that's where the switch is. There's no nice long bar to the back like on an old school oscilloscope or any well built bit of kit. Um, and in the corner there, you can see my bodge to uh, have the stereo stereo jacks output. Um, they do short, so I need to make some sort of lock type arrangement so that they can't be removed while the cables are in place. Because um, I've already had short this out once, just once I shorted this and it blew a ceramic cap just in there somewhere and that ceramic cap just went bang it just vaporized it went into the orbit or something it just completely fucked right off out of there um so yeah that's that's how i shit i've dropped everything that's how i learned not to do that um let's turn it on see if the fan starts yep everything as per normal I can feel there's airflow. I told you why you change the LED. It's quite bad. <laughs> ultraviolet ones here. Green. This is a teeny bit of bluey ultraviolet overspill through the green lens of the LED. Um, yellow, red, but no blue. No blue. I hate blue LEDs, so they piss me off. Yeah, I know. Shut up. I'm not changing that. I love this computer. See this? Professional power amplifier. If anything says professional on it, it's usually not. Or pro. This is marketing. Yeah, you know, marketing. There's marketing wankers who do anything with so stuff like this. It's, it's absurd. So yeah, don't, don't, don't believe it's pro, because it says pro or professional or any other that shite just just ignore it it's crap right juice it down yes there's no load on it right now so um the voltage tumbles at a relatively stable rate not like that 400 uh, 400 volt amp i've got in another video um, that one stays lethal for the best part of three quarters of an hour um, and it's more like 10, 15, 20 minutes after I put a shit ton of bleeding on the high voltage cap that's in it but um, yeah that one's, that one's not user friendly I should mention that um, the Poundland LED strings that you can get for uh, I think it's two quid a string they uh, look like these here now these actually look quite bright but they were cons can I choke that down they were considerably brighter and bluer when I put them up there they've uh, changed colour significantly since they've gone in there because they've been getting hot they are being fed off 5 volts, I promise. Um, but yeah, the colour temperature and the brightness just completely drops off with time. These ones are being fed from the USB port on the side of my monitor. Um, so that they switch on when I'm in my office and switch off when I'm not. Yeah, you get what you pay for. More done here. Thanks for tuning in, folks.